I saw them put a leash on that puppy. Are you going to do the same thing to me? It's okay, I will be fine with it. As long as we're together, it doesn't matter who is on which end of the leash. G'day. You, uh, got the latest Australian Naga here? Nice choice. Everyone is talking about it. Hmm? A strange party held in the city park last night. The witness claimed to see the burning kangaroos, mushroom intoxicated rolling croc, and the teenage arsonists dancing together. A secret event on the public lawn? The revival of the Uluru Games? It saddens us to admit that the recession and inflation have walloped some young adults. They were crawling in the park at night? Groaning and moaning like beasts? Dragging themselves along and losing consciousness? Way, your voice. Are uh, you? Do you have to talk to me right now? I'm busy hating my life. I don't have time for your little chit chat. No way, desert flannel. It's really you. Everybody is talking about you right now, and they can really imagine. Some say you're mad. Some say you're the heroes fighting against aliens. Well, the most known story is that event. Is it real that you're going to restart the games? Well, I have nothing to do with it. It was all that Junior's fault. I was just unlucky. Bad luck that I ran into those weirdos, got taken to the hospital, and let Makawa get what he wants. I shouldn't have let him get away. Oh, if I see him again, I swear, I will pull out his tongue and tie it around his neck. Oh, look at this gibberish. He said we are the ones who eat bunyips from the sewerage. A burning kangaroo, and I am a nutter because I can't find a way to afford rent. Oh, this is great. I might as well be a kangaroo. At least it's true that you're banging your head against the wall for rent. <sighs> yeah. Be mindful that you're talking to a nutter. Whatever. I will soon lose my part-time jobs and be kicked out of the house where my granny lived for decades. <sighs> I'm heading back. Let me know if you know of any job vacancies. I can do a lot of things. As long as the money is good. Nah, as long as I'm paid. Wait, there's a flannel. Come in, take a look at this.
So many people came here this morning asking about the Uluru Games. And one hour before, the Scissors Jerry brought me this. This is... a pre-sale ticket to the Uluru Games? I've sold over 50 tickets at a unit price of this much. It has been suspended for too long. So long that everyone thinks society has forgotten it. But we remember. Our ancestors told us about those amazing and funny sports. That big, wide and fancy stadium. <laughs> they all remember it. Even looking forward to it. And even bid up for a fake ticket. Mate, did you get more of these from the other gangs? Two boxes left. These are from the Slicky and Eucalyptus Brotherhood. Eucalyptus and what? Didn't catch that name. Oh, do you have the mints that I bought from you before? The least purchased ones? You always put them at the bottom of your box? All right. Now give my ticket back and I'll put it away. I don't want any of the gangs to find out I'm dealing with the other... Desert flannel? That's what I keep telling everyone. Muddying the water is what this bad girl does. That's right. Desert Flannel has taken the fake tickets with her. The ones from Clippy Slicky and the Eucalyptus Brotherhood. She's gone. No, not to the black market. <laughs> Sir, I heard that the Bunyips are getting restless again. Is that true? <laughs> ha! I'm gonna make a fortune out of it! I'll be able to buy that house, get myself a new oven, some new clothes, and that giant wool nest for Pleppy! Ugh! <laughs> Those bunyets are out again. Haven't seen them out in the sun for a while now. Ugh, I must hurry. Wait, are they coming my way? I've got my eyes on them. They are more interested in her than in me. Well, this makes sense. Since the Uluru Games have made the biggest news of the week, the people are going on and on about it all day. And where else will the rumor-loving Bunyips go at this point? <laughs> the last time I saw something like this was when that scandal of Mr. Pompadour broke. It will be a big story. Almost as certainly as a cut will bleed. I will pause my other projects and focus on this one. This is very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Nobody, not any arcane creatures can stop me from getting rich. Let alone that you haven't eaten enough rumors to grow into a three-floor high and multi-legged gigantic monster. Boop, 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 boop. Puppy, give me a hand! Ha! Like that smell of Ruby? 
promise from the ticket box? Come get it yourself! I seldom work together with others, but this is not bad. A forest party! I'm here for a worn tooth. Just as planned. Just in time. Just as planned. Cheer up. Ha! Hold your breath. Stop. No worries. Watch your legs! Relax. No worries. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your cooperation. Just inside. Be serious. Stay focused. Watch your legs. Just as planned. Just inside. Ha! Hold your breath. Three hours, fifteen minutes left. No, nothing. Let's move on to the next. Told you I'm super healthy. You should let me go now. But you need our care, Miss Bathadia. It's also our responsibility to make sure that you're safe and stable. When our canists were first introduced to their power, they would experience a four to twelve week adjustment period, during which they may suffer emotional breakdowns, strong hallucinations, or frequent comas. I have something very important to do right now. I mean it. I'm not going to waste my time here. I'm fine. 
There will be no more confusion, mental breakdown, hallucination, or coma! Something very important. What is it? My flame talked to me last night. exhausted after our rampage last night. Is the conversation about your changes? Of course! The moment I touched it, it crawled along my arm to my mouth and went back to the stomach. And, and all there was left in front of me was the black wall. Sorry, I'm not quite with you. Perhaps you could start from what happened then. Sure. I... I don't remember it well, though. They were blurry memories. Imagine you're looking at a... plate of bacon and eggs through... 30 layers of frosted glass. I had to get close to the glass to barely feel them. I remembered you were there, but there was also a clear window. I saw complete darkness in the window for most of the time. But there were pictures flashing by sometimes. I believe that your memory is a reincarnator. Just like what's written in the books. Hey! Let me finish! Ah, sorry. I was too excited because this is the first time I see valid proof of reincarnation. Please continue. Ahem! I think that's my memory as a reincarnator. I saw my own body in that window, just like the one I'm looking at here. I saw a lot of flames, wobbling lights and people. My heart has never beaten that fast, yet... The fire in my body seemed completely natural, as if it was destined to burn inside me. It whispered just one phrase to me, again and again. Like what you mentioned last night? Yes, the Uluru Games. I must revive the Uluru Games. What, what are you going to do? Let's not get to the paperwork of applications, security arrangement, and permission from the local government just yet. The location of entrance to the Uluru Games was never fixed. Only few Arcanists could find it, and the games are for Arcanists only. There has never been a human athlete in there. And they have been cancelled for all these years because... they were completely lost in the War of 1942. Nobody has found them since. I can find it, because I have found my ancient self. I'm the only person in this time who has been to that land, and my flame is my compass. Though I have not yet figured out why my memories are all about the conflicts with the flame, I felt so whole again when we burned together. I'm sure it will help me and unite with me. Because it trusts me so much that it traveled all the way here through the endless darkness and rainy seasons to come out of my mouth. It's here for me. And now, it's going to take me somewhere else. I'll follow wherever it goes. take care of me. Would you come with me? I need a revival squad and friends who understand and support each other. 
just the way the flame and I do. By then you'll go to the stadium too, and we'll run together. I promise it'll be a wonderful place where you'll never regret going. You will enjoy the Uluru Games. Hmm. I've seen pictures of the Uluru Games in the school library collection a long time ago. I was not a fan of the routine physical fitness test at school, but I don't think any Arcanist would say no to witnessing the revival of the once magnificent games. Oh, so... I'm more than willing to join you in bringing back the games. It will be a wonderful new beginning. an extremely important responsibility, Miss Spathodia. I will apply for you to be discharged and explain all this to Judith. <laughs> and thank you, Ezra! I won't forget your contribution to the revival of the Uluru Games! I'm deeply honored to have this chance to help. Then I will get the paperwork done and go back. Hmm? What's that for? I need to prepare as many mushrooms as possible, so that I can better assist you on the way. You? On the way? You're coming too? Of course. We've been through so many things together, am I not part of the team? No, of course not. How can I take you and the Revival Squad? The games are meant for Arcanists! You've read the documents, right? Since the very beginning of history, humans have made countless attempts to find the entrance to the stadium, yet none of them made it. It's just not for humans! If you're a fan of sports, you can totally watch those held by humans. There will be a boxing event in Melbourne tomorrow at the National Tennis Centre at Flinders Park. No, no, Miss Spathodia. I'm not interested in any games. The only reason why I'm coming along is because you haven't fully recovered and still need medical care. Besides, I hope to collect more information about reincarnators from you. I will not disturb your mission searching for the stadium. Please, let me come with you. It's going to be good for both of us. Collect information? You're... monitoring me! Since when did I grant you the permission to do that? I never said yes. I don't want to be studied or published on newspapers like the reincarnator you talked about. Our research does not need to be published in the newspaper. We can do it in a more subtle and secure manner. I will not design any tasks for you to perform, nor will I force you to take any potions. My job is to observe, record, and ensure your health and safety. Like what we do with the mushrooms. But I'm a living arcanist, not a mushroom. I've had enough of everyone watching. I don't want to be the embellishment added to someone's academic achievement or a subject of the paper that'll help you switch fields. Ah, uh, I didn't explain it right. Miss Bathadia, please listen to me. I have never changed my heart as a researcher, and I care about Arcanus as much as I care about mushrooms. It was never my intention to use you as a career boost. You are such a rare opportunity to us, because none of us know when and where the next reincarnator will be found. If we miss this opportunity, the academic circle may have to wait for another decade to further their research. The discovery you and I made may shock many. Our names might go down in history, but most importantly, it's going to help a lot of people. Have you heard of Chengis, invented by Dame Parodi? It was inspired by a long-legged shepherd in France, and it has helped many athletes with disabilities to walk and run again. Miss 
Athadia, you look miserable in the blanket. Keep going, Ezra. You're very close. Me? Close to what? I don't follow. Close? Well, speaking of close, guess who is close to becoming the most successful business person here? Desert Flannel? Where have you been? Hi! What are the white eyes for? I'm not some monster crawling out of the sewage. You look a mess. What happened? Uh, I didn't ask you why you were crouching in bed like an ostrich, did I? So maybe you can return the favor and keep your nose out of my business, yes? And what really matters is the good stuff here. You wouldn't know how unbelievably lucky we are, my dear business part... Uh, uh, friends? Yeah, no. I don't. Ugh. Ezra alone is already too much information for my brain. Fine, you restless and humorless people. We will bring back the Uluru Games. is this? Why are you quiet as stones? This is a great idea. And you're giving me this? Alright. Join my revival squad. Handshake? Handshake. Then I... No, not you. <laughs> 